Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's JG, and I'm back for another review. This time I have TFC's Toys Project Prometheus, the second team member, warning line. What? Jay, you thought you said you wasn't going to go all in on this. Yo, I changed my mind. After seeing pictures and stuff and seeing this full combined mode at um, New Jersey Collectors Convention, I was like, man, this thing looks pretty good. So, all in on it. So, yeah. So, I got the second figure, one in line. Yeah. Better late than never. So, here he is. The box right here. He comes in this um, the window display. Displayed in robot mode. Let's take a look. Got this night art right there. Got the Prometheus logo right there. 16 and up. Got product shot right there of the figure. In the back, you got that same product shot, and you got this right here, which in, transforms into, and we transforms into for his combined mode, which is a leg. Get that same artwork up front, which is very nice. Got your warnings on the bottom, Prometheus on top, and off to the Phantom Zone it goes. And here we got Warning Line, aka Groove. From G1 Transformers, and he's a homage to Groove. Um, different alt mode than what Groove had. Uh, this guy is a more um, futuristic, stylized prototype motorcycle. I forgot what it was called, but it, it, it actually does exist in real life, but it's not really street legal. So, yeah. So, so yeah. He, and you see in his robot mode, he does lack some of the detail that Groove or that he was known for, like the gold chest his chest is red and you can see take a look at it and uh yeah it's, it's pretty red there's no gold in his face either but he does have an arc reactor yes he does have an arc reactor so he's powered by um arc reaction technology by tony stark so i'm just playing but it does look like an arc reactor though and yeah it's the figure. He does come with accessories. Come with this um, gun assembly right here, and it splits off into like three. I guess, I guess you can call it three guns. I guess it's considered a gun right here, and he has these two pistols right there. They fit in each of his hand. They're kind of tight, especially this hand. I already got a stress mark on his fist trying to put that in his hand. So be careful. Might have to file file that down or something. Some sandpaper. A little tiny bit, so it'll fit in his hand a little bit better if I was stressing it out. But I'll wait to doing that until it get all combined, because I'm not sure what all they can do with the weapons in the combined mode. I think they can attach to the foot or something like that. So I'm going to hold off. I think the parts for that is um, with the hotspot. And he also comes with the um, third-party collector's card. This is um, the cardboard card. Got his stats in the back. Pause it. Live it. Love it. And also he comes with an instruction sheet, not booklet, a sheet. Just like most of all the other TSC toys um instructions. And it is a little not as, as it's pretty pretty good instructions. Um the instructions for um what is this red stuff? These kids, man. Like God, I mean, kids got stuff in the place. I mean, yeah. Um yeah, that micro blaze um Fall Cybertron Onslaught instructions already got me like scratching my head right now, so I have that also, which I'll try to get up for review sometime later on this week. So, yeah, that's it for this accessories. Also, yeah, he comes with the uh, combined foot, same foot as before we saw with um, Streetwise. Uh, no articulation in the foot, except for right here. This joint comes with the little white peg connector port attachment piece, and yeah. And like I said before on the instructions, they do show off something supposed to peg into these parts in the back of the foot. I don't have those parts yet, and they come with um, Hotspot. So stay tuned for more, and we'll get into the deep down story of that. All right, for a quick size comparison, let's go ahead and get you out this little this A stance. And you can stand up straight like so, in the proper uh, normal stance. And let's go ahead and come next to the Mount Megatron. And Megatron is uh, quite a bit taller than this guy. And here he is with his teammate. 
and he's a tad bit taller than his um his leg his leg mate and everything. So as long as it doesn't affect the combined mode, I'm good with that. So yeah, they're probably like a half a head taller than him. So yeah. Let's go into articulation. Articulation, he arms do go around 360. They do um, he has like multiple points at the shoulder. He can rotate and he can go like that at the shoulder. He also can go up like this at the shoulder. So yeah, he has two shoulder outward motions. Uh, rotates at the bicep, bends at the elbow, 90 degrees. Uh, wrists do not rotate, but they do go um, forward and back. It's kind of tight. Man, it was that screw up. Forward and back, do uh, yeah. Forward and back, get that back in there. Uh, does have a waist rotation. Legs do go straight out like so. Go straight back. They do go out to the side on a ratchet joint. Uh, the knees, knees do bend that much. It has a uh, rotate at the knee also. Uh, foot are very posable. They are on a uh, hinge. Um, mechanism joint so you can get some um, ankle tilts right there you can toe right there and he can these pieces right here they do move they can get it going back what have you whatever desired pose you might need and also his head does look left and right it does not it's not on the ball joint so he can't look up he can't look down if you go like this which is kind of very weird so yeah, limited on the head motion, but other than that, he is a pretty solid figure. I've been looking at him for the past day and a half, and he is awesome looking. I can't stop looking at him. It's like his design. It's a nice silhouette. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and get into the transformation, man. So, his first thing to do is go straighten his legs out, like so. Take these uh, feet right here, you're gonna fold them down. Fold the feet down, take his head. Also, his head does have some light piping, it's blue. You can see that, you can see that or not. So nice light piping on his head. Now I do like the, all the um, blue accents and stuff he has right there. The art right there on his chest. Blue highlights right here on the wheels. There's the brakes. I do like that. Uh, I could use a little bit more uh, paint or detailing, so hopefully repro labels will help us out with that. And let's get back into the transformation. Yep. So yeah, that going to take his head, go ahead and fold it down like that, and you're going to take these, you're going to rotate them up. Oh, hold on. First, you're going to take these places right here, and they're very stiff at first, so you're going to bend it up like that. So. Uh, uh. Then you're gonna rotate this up. Toss right here up. Go ahead and um, don't peg this little lightly peg his uh, legs together because you gotta unpeg them a little bit later. But just to peg them in very light, just to get things um help things out, get things moved around. Uh, these hinges right here to his feet. Go ahead and um, bring them in. Pour him in like so. And feet gonna peg together. So go ahead and do that. If you can. It does not want to stay pegged on mines at least. So yeah. Okay, got that done. Go ahead and take your shoulders right here. And you're going to oh, unpeg the wheels of the back. Peg that. Go ahead and rotate his shoulders like so. Shoulders like so. This part right here, his arm, you're going to bring it up like that. Take this piece portion, rotate that around. It's going to go up like that. Same thing, other side. Bring this up, rotate it around, up. Next, what you're going to do, you're going to his. This portion of his hand right here, bring it up, you're gonna bring it down. So I'm semi cover up his fist. Then you're gonna straighten his arm out and you're gonna push it in. It's supposed to collapse in. 
Difficulty may vary. Sometimes it's very hard to push in. Sometimes it goes in pretty easy. This time went in pretty easy. Let's see if this side will cooperate as well. And it, by God, it went in. Thank you for doing this on camera for me. So yeah, then you're going to bring both sides up. And it's going to rotate on two points, two hinges on the two hinge joints that his shoulder is on. So right, right here and right here. So bring that, bring that, bring it up. Then you're going to bend it again right there. And these two halves are going to tab in together right here, this tab, right that, and the tab in the back. Tab in, and there's a tab up front also. I'm going to tap these two wheels together like so. Next, what you're going to do is these posts right here. You see that or not? These two posts, they're going to peg into it where his hands are at. So go ahead, get those lined up, and Go ahead and push it down. Push it down kind of slightly. Don't push it in too tight because it's a pain in the butt to try to get undone when you try to get back in robot mode. Oh, yeah. Turn that in so slightly. Now, next, what you're going to do, you're going to take this bottom part where the foot is at and you're going to rotate this up if it stays tapped in. And like I said, mine will not stay tapped in very well. So bring this portion up, yeah, bring like that. Like I said, you want to keep that un, this back end untabbed so lightly because you're gonna take this white piece right here, you're gonna pop that off, and you're gonna go ahead and put that in right here. This mostly for the um, combined mode. So we're gonna ahead, go ahead and put it in right now, just to save us heartache later on. So tap that together. Now you can tap it in very tight, and this should tab in more easily. If it'll stay together, I might have to sand that one, that peg down too a little bit. So you got that in there, and you can put this down. And you should get all that tab together. Like so, wow, la la. Next, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this panel right here, you're gonna flip it closed, and it's got this tab right here, it's gonna peg into this hole right there. So. And it's kind of hard to get it lined up. And I forgot a step. Wow. His torso is supposed to collapse it. Ah, push it in. That probably create all kinds of stress marks. So make sure you do that. That's just easy stuff to forget. So his torso collapses. You push, all you gotta do is push it up. And it just goes in. There's no release button. And here, click there. Wow. Hope I didn't mess nothing up. So now you should be able to line your peg up with that right there. So it takes a little bit of work getting worked in there. I yeah, got it. Same thing, other side. There we go. Tab then, push that down some. This thing came on tabbed again. Handlebar, you're gonna rotate it facing the correct way, and there you have him in vehicle mode. So, yeah, nice looking futuristic, futuristic motorcycle, looks great. Uh, the wheels do have a little hard time rolling on their own, but they do they do spin. Just when you're trying to roll it like like so, it does not really roll. It doesn't grab that well. So yeah, just check out this baby. Nice detailing. Got the blue translucent plastic for the headlights. Like I said, I was pointing out this blue detailing for the brakes. Nice paint right here. Silver paint, red paint. Good, yeah. Very, very nice. Now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the Autobot brand at, especially in robot mode. So yeah, got this portion right here. Flip that down if you want. 
doesn't really get in the way. It's that option. And for a side comparison, you got a classic uh, smoke screen right here. Instead of a little black car deco or size. And here's another side comparison with his Protecto Bot Buddy. So yeah, you know how they scale with each other. Of course, it's gonna be bigger, so you can't, it's hard to do motorcycles and transformers. Transformer motorcycles have always been bigger, you know, so that's just the way it is, I mean. They're always gonna be out of scale with the cars. So, so yeah. But yeah, they do match with each other. They got the same on um, the reds and red, uh, the white, the black and everything like that. So, it's cool. And let's go ahead and go ahead and get him into the combined mode, which is pretty much uh, a straight shot simple from here. So all you got to do is go ahead and uh, split the front wheels. You split. There we go. Just fold it onto the side. One thing I don't like about that is there's nothing to it can peg onto. It's down by friction. So... And you want to uh, take this portion right here and flip this down. Give it a knee bend. I got which foot was which foot. I guess it don't matter. So take the foot, you plug it in, bottom, and there you have them in foot mode. Foot mode? Yeah, it's a Disney foot mode, man. Like it's, it has the bulk to it and everything like that. Goes back and forth and goes side to side. Same motion as we had with uh, Streetwise or Gumbo. We'll call them. And for a foot size comparison, we're going to bring in, we're going to slide on over here. Slide on over. We got the uh, Predator King leg. He a little bit straightened out a little bit. And you can see he is. Just about the same, yeah, same height at the connector port. Move him back on over where he was at. And we're gonna slide on over Superior. And they are straight up. And they are just about the same height as, as well. Superior's connector port being a little bit higher. Probably like, yeah, just a hair bit higher. It's not that much. So, so yeah, man, I've seen the pictures of this combined mode at uh, NJCC, and he looks he looks gorgeous. It, it, it did sway me into getting him or completing the set and whatnot. So, yeah. So yeah, it just looked great and whatnot. And for the figure himself, I do recommend him. He is a great figure, very solid. Um, some articulation like in the wrist and stuff might be causing problems later on or for your posing desires, how you like to pose your figures and stuff. That might be a concern for some, not concerning for me that much because it's pretty much going to be in combined mode most of the time. So, only time it's going to be not in combined mode until I get everything, all the guys um, together. So, yeah, I already I have Hotspot coming in the mail. should be in maybe the end of this week, maybe next week. Um, I will do a review on him as soon as I get to it. And... Um, the fourth member, their um, first eight, should be releasing sometime soon, sometime um, this month. So mid month is coming up, so he should be getting released soon. So, all right, y'all, this has been uh, Jay Jeter. Oh, hold on one second before I sign off. Let's do a uh, side by side of the leg modes. So yeah. Get the lake modes right there, side by side. They do line up, like I said. 
and I like having my guy leg a little bit stylish add a little something something to him let's put that apart like that oh yeah so yeah they look good together look good together so yeah it's been JG that um I'm signing off. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews and make sure you subscribe. Check y'all later. Peace.